Hey, hello everybody, Jay Buzzsaw 79 here with more X-Wing builds for the X-Wing Miniature game. Uh, today we're going to be doing an Imperial build, so let's just slip right into it here. Alrighty, so the first one in this build here is none other than Pure Sabic. Uh, whoever ever stops to say, gosh, that's just some Pure Sabic you're doing. Alright, so, um, so here he is in a tie striker with a pilot skill 6, 3 attack, 2 defense, 4 hull no shields with an EPT, focus barrel will evade. Uh, when attacking, if you have one or more damage cards, or if you do not, rather, if you have one or fewer damage cards, I do roll one additional attack dice. My god, that was horrible. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, for his EPT then, I uh, put Expertise on, so basically no damage or one damage, he's got a four dice, uh, five at range one, uh, and if he's attacking and he has no stress, he auto changes his eyeballs to hits, this allows me to either reposition or take the evade token to hopefully luck out that way, uh, or he can also just take the focus and hope they roll very well. Uh, depending on what's going on. Uh, Adaptive Valence, immediately before you reveal dial. If you are not stressed, you must uh, execute a white uh, bank one, one forward, or a bank one right uh, maneuver. So it's kind of like a pre-boost. Uh, I did see one build that was interesting to me uh, not that long ago where he actually put Engine Upgrade on Sabic. So essentially you boost twice, which I thought was fairly interesting, actually. I didn't particularly care for it, because I think there's better ways to arc dodge, but it was interesting. Uh, and to go with that, finally, the lightweight frames, of course, when defending. After rolling defense dice, if there are uh, more attack dice than defense dice, roll one additional defense dice. You cannot equip this card if your agility is three or higher, which it's not. So that it works out just fine for him. So, uh, yeah, good old Sabic. I like that. Alrighty. Next up, uh, I got two cards on here because one is Backstabber over here in the generic TIE Fighter with a pilot skill of six, uh, two attack, three defense, three hold, no shields, no upgrading. Except for like, you know, mod. Uh, with focus, burrow, roll, evade. When attacking from outside, defenders arc, roll, initial die. Just basically as a 16 point filler, because essentially he should usually have three uh, attack dice, which, you know, that's pretty decent. Uh, usually the only things that really would bother him is uh, turrets. So, but most anything else, they're going to be worried about the other hopeful parts of this list, which means he'll have. You know, some flanking opportunities. On the other side here, we have Omega Leader. Uh, and basically the same result as a regular tie, except this is a foe. So, two attack, three defense, three hull, one shield. EPT with tech. Focus, target lock, burrow, evade. And with ships, you have locked. Uh, cannot modify any dice when attacking or defending against your attacks. So, when you target lock him... They can't modify anything either offensively or defensively involving him. Uh, to go with that, of course, the original combo, uh, Juke with Com Relay. That's kind of a self-exclamatory, really. You uh, go ahead and they roll their defense. You turn an evade to a focus. They can't change it back because you've target locked them. And you need to take an evade token. So Com Relay holds that for you to get some more offense, hopefully. All right. And finally, for the fourth ship here, running Tomax. Uh, pilot scope 8, 2 attack, 2 defense, 6 hull, no shields, with an EPT double torpedo, double missile, uh, with a bomb for 24 points. Focus, target lock, barrel roll. Once per round, if you discard a uh, EPT upgrade, you can flip that back up. In this case, I took Crack Shot because this is kind of just like with Omega made for Tomax. 
Uh, what this says is you discard this card and you uh, basically blow away one of their evade results for defense dice. Tomax flips it back up at the end of the turn. So. Or actually, I suppose right away, technically flips it up right away. Uh, important to know though that you can use it a second time, but then it's done. You never get it back. So. Uh, so, yeah. Um. The unguided rockets uh, takes up two of your missile slots, but is a range one to three secondary weapon for three dice. Uh, your attack dice can only be modified by a focus token, which that's fine. You don't really care. Uh, finally, lightweight frames because lightweight frames you only roll in two defense dice. Uh, but if there's more red dice than your green dice, you get an extra defense dice. And you cannot equip this if uh, the value member is three or higher, which is only two because you're a bomber. But six hit points, if they only, if they don't roll crits, uh, you should last a long time. I use this uh, against a double ghost build, which I mentioned in one of my other videos. Um, and this build did so much more worse uh, than the rebel build. Uh, I, I've never had, to be honest, good luck with Tomax, no matter how I've flown him as a support, I've flown him like this where he's aggressive. Um, like the bomber by itself, Swarmy does pretty good, like, but Tomax for some reason, I never have good luck with him. Uh, perhaps it's just because uh, he's more of a target than I realize, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but again, this did pretty poor against them. Uh, and the bill, let's see, first one to go down was Sabic, and then Tomac, then Omega, and then finally Backstabber was left, and he was the one that got the final kill shot on, to at least give me points uh, for the Ghost. So, but uh, yeah, I, it's a fun list. Maybe I just rolled bad that day. Uh, maybe he just did really well, but I'm going to play it a few more times here before I draw any kind of conclusion. But tell me what you guys think. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down kind of thing. Uh, comments. Uh, yeah, tell me what you think about the videos. Uh, this is Buzzsaw 79 saying thanks for watching. And signing off till next time.